A lot of people ask me what I do as a cloud solution architect at Microsoft. In this episode, you will learn about what I do and how to become one. If you like this video, please subscribe and comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Myra, can you please fix my OneDrive? It doesn't work. Actually, my Wi-Fi always drop out. Can you please come over and have a look? Myra, can you come over to help me fix the dishwasher? I'm late for school. This never works for me. This doesn't make any sense. Hey, Myra, can you please debug this for me? I've spent a whole night trying to figure out the code. Hello. 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 Is that, is that Myra? Yes, Myra speaking. Our database has an urgent outage. Can you please fly down here and help us fix it? Uh, but, but it's 11 p.m. As we all know, before we build a house, we need a design from an architect so we know what our house might look like, where to put the bedroom, how big it is, etc. Similar to the architect in the construction industry, a cloud solution architect focusing on designing the skeleton and architecture of a cloud project. What to use, where and when to use, and how we use it. In the cloud space, the technology evolves fairly quickly, so we have to stay up to date on the latest trends and technologies. In Microsoft, based on speciality, we mainly have two types of cloud solution architect, applications and infrastructure cloud solution architect, and a data and AI cloud solution architect. Applications and infrastructure cloud solution architects focus on cloud adoption plans, cloud application design, and cloud management, monitoring, security, and networking. Data and AI cloud solution architects focus on Azure data services, modern data warehousing, advanced analytics, big data solutions, AI solutions, and IoT projects. As a data and AI cloud solution architect, I support architectural design sessions technical POCs, demos. I engage partners to deliver complete solutions. I train customers on data and AI related Microsoft technologies. And I have fun. What we are not. We are not developer. We are not IT support. We are not technical sales. And obviously, we are not specialized in fixing your dishwasher. What we are. We are trusted advisor and we are thought leader. What do we do? We lead and guide architectural design. We support and train cloud technology adoption. We coordinate and orchestrate internal and external resources. All right, I talked a lot, but in one sentence, what does Myra do as a cloud solution architect at Microsoft? We make our customer success our success. That's all I do. To answer this question, I think it would be good to share with you a bit of my personal experience. I graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce degree in Information Systems. I started as a business analyst at a software company. I might be the least technical person in my team for my first job. What's worse was I only started speaking English for less than two years at that time. But I learned a lot from my colleagues, from doing projects, and from studying for exams and certifications. Before I joined Microsoft, I pretty much doing at least two exams every year. I push myself out there and seek opportunities to speak at local meetups and tech events. I always tell people, if Myra can do it, then 90% of the people in the world can do it too. Here's my two cents based on what have worked out for me. First of all, Study for exams and get certifications. Always stay up to date. Secondly, pick a topic that you are familiar with. 
Push yourself out there and present at those meetups or conferences. Stay connected with the community. Last but not the least, the right mindset. Not just focus on what you are asked to do. Be curious and have a holistic view on end-to-end -end projects. Train that mindset to always have a full picture in mind. Keep asking the questions on how I can stand out, how to advance my strengths, what kind of salary I can get if I put myself in the market right now. Do I have any thoughts or analysis on the industry? What kind of technologies will stay strong in the next couple of years? Good luck.